My name is Jay and I'm awkward and black. Someone once told me those were the two worst things anyone could be. Awkward Black Girl is a series about a girl who uncomfortably navigates life, love, and her job. It's, I mean, it's a hell of a show. It really destabilizes what people think they know about blackness. A little bit unconventional as far as stereotypes of black women are concerned. It's just this new wave of diversity taking over the web. And it's just funny, so I mean, that also helps. It's just about the mundane social experiences that we all have. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Issa Rae, and I'm a producer, writer, director of web content, and I'm most known for my web series, The Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl. I graduated from Stanford, uh, studied African American studies and political science, uh, was heavy into directing and producing plays at school, and then I created my first web series my senior year. Eventually moved back to LA and just started doing all these uh, odd jobs and trying to establish myself as a videographer or an editor and trying to get work that way and hopefully by like in my mind by filming weddings and filming you know talents high school talent shows I'd be discovered by a film director who'd be like wow you really filmed that wedding nicely but that wasn't the case Jay oh my god that is you wow I haven't seen you since college <laughs> right this is where people who major in African American studies end up, sweetie. I'd started a, a black film blog. I was super into film, I still am. Um, the same types of black movies were coming out with the same types of, type of humor. And it was frustrating and I was voicing that on my blog. And um, I remember one comment was like, you complain so much, why don't you make something? And that like, I was like, oh, well, okay, I will. Is it focused? I can put in an autofocus at this point, too. Look, this is the view that I have of you. But you want the view of your radio, too? No, I just want to start with my radio with me turning the song up. Basically, she just asked me if I could help her film something. She didn't have anyone to shoot it for her. And I was like, OK, I, just tell me what to do. And she just told me what to do. I can't remember what the heck to do now. But she was just like, oh, just do this to zoom in, do that to zoom out. I had no film experience. Ready? Mm -hmm. We shot for hours, but it was really fun. Booty shots. Make us wanna fuck me from behind. Feeling about this ass. Make us wanna feel a bonus booty. They ain't got a chance. I've been teasing, she's a leaner. Play your face to the bank. They can't even check me, boo. I'm a motherfucking shit. Shit. Awkward moment. What's the protocol for repeatedly running into someone at a stop sign? She missed you. Oh my god. Hey, I totally didn't even it's see been you. so long. I, I know, right? No, seriously. What the fuck is it? Well, I guess I'll see you at work. <laughs> the first episode was just about avoiding someone um, that you don't that you know but you don't want them to see you and it's something that definitely really happens. There's only so long I can hold a fake conversation. Jeez. No, I'm talking. yeah. Nope. Yeah. One of the first scenes that I shot was the hallway scene in episode three, where we just go by each other and we're kind of like, like awkward. And that scene was really funny for me to shoot because I showed up at her dad's office and it was, I believe her brother was filming it. Long hallways are the epitome of discomfort. I've already said hi to this woman. What other interaction could we possibly have? It's a really nice day. Woo. Are you following me? <laughs> no. And it took a total of 20 minutes to shoot. So I left there and I was like, what did I just get myself into? Like, I was just like, okay, I'll just chalk that up as an acting exercise. Like, thinking it's not going to go anywhere. Does this girl live in the hallway? Why am I so uncomfortable? 
What's my issue? Is it just me? Can other people tell? Wait, what was that? Oh my God, you're awkward. I know. So she has this character that's built from awkwardness, right? And we're so unaccustomed to seeing black folks as anything other than the life of the party or the dancer, the extrovert, right? And she's really bringing some complicated narratives to bear on those types of representations. So basically before Awkward Black Girl, I was going in on a lot of auditions where I had to do the accent. And I was also coming in for very stereotypical Muslim roles. Like they would have me wear a burqa in the audition and I'd be like, okay, this is weird, but whatever, I'll do it. Jesus is my homie love a friend. Mm. Hey, can you turn it down a little bit? This is America, Cece. If you will listen to your Muslim chants here, use headphones. I'm not even Muslim. It actually sh highlighted the lack right, of independent representation, in mass media at least. First of all, there's a dearth of anything that features people that are not white. So that's number one, just from, from the gate. Um, something that has thought put into it, that's scripted, um, you know, that's like, I guess, more intelligent and fun. You know, there's, there's not a lot of it. There's not a lot of stuff on TV. I always go back to the 90s as just an example of where you had like a vast spectrum of the types of black people on television. Like you had Sinclair from Living Single, Freddie from A Different World. Like my definition of awkward black girl also applies to just the fact that I like I'm not in the media. I'm not what's popular in Real Housewives of Atlanta or Love and Hip Hop or Flavor of Love that was awkward uh, based on the, that, the definition of what they portrayed a black woman to be. Look, Jay, I didn't want to take it here, but this isn't about you. It's for the sisters. Who sisters? The sisters, Jay. What made her in part distinct was that she was um, really capitalizing on a relatively new technology um, and platform to actually build her brand and a name for herself and her work. And it started with Facebook randomly trying to add all friends. When, I, when they opened it up to like the world, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to add all the Senegalese people because there are like three last names. All I have to do is type the last names and you know, whatever. Um, so that was like a community. I created like an African uh, community where we would, you know, share stuff amongst each other. And three shows down the line when I launched Opera Black Girl, like I had accumulated a fan base from the other two shows and really learned from my mistakes, learned what people wanted to see, been studying like analytics and um, by the time that show was put out, like, there was an audience. It wasn't, like, huge or anything, but it was enough for them to share with their friends and they would share with their friends. When she put that first episode out, I don't think we knew how many people were going to like it. <laughs> but a lot of people just jumped on it and all of a sudden it just blew up. And originally my character was only supposed to be around for a couple of episodes. Uh, I'm Jay. So am I. That's so... <laughs> so dynamite! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cause like, cause you're Jay and I'm Jay. So it's JJ. It's a, you know, dynamite! It's good times. Fucking lame. That's so cool. It, this wouldn't have been possible uh, a few years ago. In fact, you know, the, the fan response to the character of YJ was so intense that, you know, they, they rewrote the script. They redirected the trajectory of the love story, um, which is something that I don't think would have ever been possible. And from then, it was like a domino effect with the episodes. People wanted more, and she just kept going with it. It went viral. The fan base pretty much built itself for that show in particular.
think that she's really sparked something for people and, and not that she's the first, but she is an early pioneer, right? And so I do think that even since ABG took off that she has helped to produce other spin-offs. People are starting web series all the time. Um, and I think that like, you know, one thing Awkward Black Girl definitely did was bring attention to the idea that, you know what, people will watch stuff if they like it. And it doesn't have to be some light skinned girl. It doesn't have to be, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be someone who's already famous. Um, you know, there's talent out there. <laughs> Against, yeah. against, uh, yes, yes. I mean, or Armenians, whatever Armenians. you want. I mean, it. I, I, today I feel like a little Latin. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, <laughs> call me Fahandre. Fahandre. <laughs> so the question that has 37 plus ones is when does the show come back? Oh, wow. So. Guys, what Wait, can I, can I, can I, can I chime in here? I thought, I literally thought when um when I first got the scheduling request to hold this thing, I thought it was going to be a meeting about bringing the show back. Uh, and I was, uh, yeah, so you got my hope up on that. So yeah, count that to be thirty-eight. Me plus too. On that, on that question. You, <laughs> One more here too. So if if we were like gonna bring the show back next week, all of y'all would be down. Dude, I'm down. Yep. Whenever Issa is. Um, post anything online, there's always a request for more Awkward Black Girl to stop. Whatever it is you're doing, it's great, but stop it. Let's do some more Awkward Black Girl. Now it's beyond me. Now people talk about it. Like, they're not even episodes out, but people, you know, are still talking about it and, and claiming it as their identity, and I love that. In almost every country, someone, you know, people from Sweden, people from Germany, people from the UK, people from Saudi Arabia, people from uh, Jordan, Egypt, People are coming up to me and recognize, in Kenya, uh, people recognize, uh, in, in Ghana, people recognize the show. It's such, a, it's, such a, it's such a blessing to be part of this. And I, what I'm afraid of is that by coming back, if it's not really right and, and, and Isa doesn't really, really feel it's the best thing, I just don't want to be characters of ourselves and kind of risk ruining something so, so perfect. Because it has impacted a lot of people positively all over the world. You said that. Booty shots, booty shots, bouncing in my booty shots, booty shots, popping in my booty shots, booty shots, my booty shots, booty shots. Fold ass, got a chance, leaning to the left. Shit, left. Just stay tuned. Is all I can say. Do I Cheeks to drop when I'm in my booty shop. My booty shop, booty shop, yeah. bouncing in my booty shop, booty shop, popping in my booty shop, booty shop, my booty shop, booty shop. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> 